Rar, the reverse aerial rush. What's up guys, Blitz here today bringing another video. We're going to be talking about the reverse aerial rush. This is a very handy technique that can be used to get easier kills or simply used as an approach option on shield against your opponent. Every character can use this but for some it's way more vital than others. I recommend everyone learning this technique because it's very important to the neutral game in all aspects. In this video we're going to break down how to do it step by step but it's up to you guys to practice it into muscle memory and get it perfect on execution. Falco's forward air is a great offstage kill move, it hits multiple times and its hitbox is very tricky to clash with. However, on stage it does not kill until about 120% or higher. It's not a bad move at all, it has so many uses, but dashing towards enemies on stage trying to fish out a kill with it is not the best option. As many Falco mains know, his back air can get some early kills both on and off stage. However, when you're dashing towards an enemy and you're facing them, your back air will most likely not connect. This is where the reverse area rush comes in. The first step for the reverse area rush is to dash forward and then push your stick back the other direction. This is going to turn your character around mid-dash. This motion is not too hard to pull off and I bet many of you guys even found yourself doing this sometimes by accident. Practice this over and over again until you can get faster with it. The second step requires you to jump now as soon as your character turns around. This cancels your backward sliding animation and carries your dash momentum with you in the air. You're going to want to do this over and over again until you get comfortable with it in one fluid motion. Now once you get all of this down, let's now throw the back air out right after the jump. Try to do this 10 times in a row without messing up. The key is repetition and eventually you're going to gain muscle memory to do this every single time. Every character is different in other ways. In Brawl and Smash 4, Falco could land this on grounded opponents easily. But in Ultimate, they increase the amount of frames until his back air comes out. So now he can't really hit grounded opponents, but it still has its uses for chasing opponents in the air and also edge guarding. Practice this on dummies in training, set them to jump and also play with the percentages to see what percent you can actually get a kill with this. Because everybody's varies and it's a little bit different depending on how far the opponent is on the percentage scale and also how far to the edge you guys are. Now with a character like Captain Falcon, his forward air is the knee of justice, which by itself can get some crazy early kills. But the main issue about using this move is that it's not very consistent to use in his neutral due to its slow startup and long end lag. However, his back air is a beast. It comes out so fast, it has decent range, and it's also conveniently angled diagonal, which makes hitting grounded opponents with it a lot easier. On stage, it won't always kill early, but it's a great option to get your opponent off stage and set up edge guards. You can even use the back air as an edge guard off stage against people trying to get back on. Once you're really good with the reverse area rush, you can test what confirms can you land with your character. For example, with Captain Falcon's running down throw, you can set up combo strings and chases with his raw back air. If you're quick enough, you can even true combo this at certain percents depending on your opponent's DI, of course. And that about wraps it up for the reverse aerial rush. I hope you guys watching learned something new, whether you're new to Smash or you're a longtime veteran. This tech has been in the game since Brawl, and it's just one of those things that if you added it to your gameplay, it can improve a lot of your matches and get you a lot of kills as well as some solid edge guarding opportunities. Let me know what you guys thought about the video. Be sure to comment below if you have any questions regarding this. I do not mind giving you guys some more feedback or tips on how to improve on the RAR. It's been a while since I made a video like this and I can't wait to bring you guys some more. Between Smash, Black Ops, and Dragon Ball Fighter Season 2, it's going to be a busy time on this channel. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new. I'm shooting to upload 3 or 4 videos a week, you guys do not want to miss out. My name is Blitz and thanks for watching.